Hey guys, Flannel Brandon Lewis here of Embedded Computing Design. I just realized that the last three or four of these I've been wearing a flannel shirt. Um, today I also decided to rock my Arizona State hat. Um, shout out to my alma mater. But enough about me. Today we're going to be diving into the Renaissance SK S7 G2 starter kit. So for those of you who aren't familiar, the Renaissance SKS7 G2 Starter Kit is part of Renaissance's Synergy platform, and Synergy was really one of the first developer ecosystem platforms to allow embedded engineers to get connected to the Internet of Things. Uh, it includes a software package, it's based on ThreadX, that's the Express Logic operating system that coincidentally enough was recently acquired by Microsoft. If you're interested in finding more out about that, you can check out our recent Embedded Insiders podcast. But the Synergy software package that's built around ThreadX has a bunch of different file systems and an abstraction layer that allows you to uh, develop application code easily across the line of Renaissance MCUs that build out, to, that are the basis of starter kits like this. So diving a little bit deeper into this particular Synergy development platform or kit, it's built around the S7 G2 MCU, which is a Cortex M4 based microprocessor that also has a floating point unit attached to it. So as you can see, there's a lot more going on here than that simple Cortex-M0 because on the board you have this 2.4 inch TFT display. There's also uh, ethernet ports over here so you can hook up to a 10100 ethernet and a ton of other little cool features um, that make this more than your everyday development kit that's just sensing something. It's a higher performance, higher class, uh, type of uh, SOC that you have here in the middle and it allows you to do a lot of graphic type uh, operations. There's a 2D imaging engine on here. Um, so if you're looking to build a industrial uh, machine, perhaps uh, HMI or even something for appliances or home automation where you need some sort of uh, user input or at least to display something to a user, you can uh, drive it all off of this SOC right here in the middle. So a little bit deeper into developing actual graphics oriented applications, the ThreadX uh, operating system um, has a file system with a bunch of different uh, connectivity and development um, uh, tools that come along with it. And GUIX is actually also included in the Synergy software package. GUIX just lets you get up and running with a lot of the uh, graphics drivers, etc. In addition, you can debug with E2 Studio or IAR's embedded workbench. Uh, just really helps you get off the ground developing tight uh, optimized code uh, really quickly. And back to the actual hardware really quickly, I mentioned the Ethernet interface earlier. It's actually an IEEE 1588 precision time protocol. CAN is supported, RS-232 and uh, RS-485 are also supported. So some deterministic uh, types of connectivity there to help if you are in fact developing for an industrial type application. There are Arduino, um, Uno shield uh, connectors here that you can see on the board. So that opens up access to a ton of different capabilities through shields or capes that you can plug onto this module and build out a really full blown application or at least prototype it. Um, and then in addition, there are PMOD connectors, et cetera, et cetera. USB, of course. And then we already mentioned the 2.4 inch TFT display. So obviously, um, kits like the uh, Synergy SKS7 G2, um, one of the big advantages that I mentioned before was that it was for IoT type developers. And this, of course, is cloud agnostic. And because of all of the infrastructure that's layered in, uh, both in hardware and software, it's easy for you to connect the kit um, in any application that you're running on it, of course, back up to a cloud. If you want to start developing on the kit, you do need a Windows operating environment. Uh, that's just how it is uh, from Renaissance. So just hold on there, Linux fans. Gosh. But if you do have a Windows-based system, um, you can, of course, enter the raffle to win this particular kit and get developing right away um, and getting a feel for the Synergy uh, ecosystem. To do that, you just need to fill out uh, the raffle form, which is listed in the description below. And then also if you're on the Embedded Computing Design website, it's right down there. So if you want to get your hands on the Renaissance Synergy SKS7 G2 development kit, you can find it on major electronics distributors for $83.75. 
One last kicker this week is that the Renaissance Synergy SKS7 G2 is also part of a DigiKey design contest. And if you're interested in entering the DigiKey design contest, you can find more information on that provided in the links below. Long story short, basically, you fill out a form, you get the kit, submit a paper design, and have an opportunity to win a thousand bucks. So anyway, that's a quick wrap up of the Renaissance Synergy SK S7 G2. If you'd like to find out more information, you can visit the Renaissance, Renaissance website and be sure to check back next week as we review another development kit. Please like, subscribe, and follow. Thanks.